You know I gotta take my goggles because we will be. Also I have a bottom piece. Oh, how do you know where's the top? Okay. <laughs> so happy I found my scrunch. So this is not a tank top. It is so bright. Oh my gosh. So I'm so happy I found my scrunchie. In that backpack I took with me to New York. In New York. Jesus. Okay. So I'm so happy I found my scrunch. Oh, it is on both sides. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title, it's packing day because I am going to Hawaii. Yay! I'm so, so excited. I literally haven't been to anywhere tropical or fun since Kawa, which was about two or one year ago, maybe on the second year. So today is packing day. Tomorrow, we literally need to wake up in the early butt crack of dawn. 4 a.m. because we're actually gonna fly out of a different airport not close to home so we're gonna have to give ourselves some time to get there and just get situated and catch that 8 a.m. flight. In this video I'm gonna share some of the things I bring with me from clothing to beach clothes to makeup to camera gear and all the other 10 million outfits I bring for only a four-day trip. I'm gonna start with the least amount of things, which is like my camera gear. I actually got a new vlogging camera. I have the new Canon M50. This is a great camera to film with, do vlogs, even still pictures, amazing. I also got the mini road mic with the dead cat. So sad that they call it dead cat, but yeah, this is a dead cat just to prevent some wind noises when I'm filming outdoors. If it is windy, if not, I can always take this off and it has a regular mic. Still on the fence if I wanna bring this for backup or any B-roll footage. Again, I'm not sure if we're gonna have that much time just because we're there for four days but we're gonna try our best to do everything in those days of course i'm not gonna forget my joby joby goby joby <laughs> this is a tripod holder i can literally wrap this around like a pole if i wanted to take like b-roll or just any footages without me having a cameraman so it's pretty convenient and it's not too big and when i hold it with a camera it's about that tall so it's not too bad this is very sturdy and comfortable i could use this for my point and shoots my dslrs and yeah this is just so sturdy and i trust this as always i'm going to take my laptop so i have all my cords and accessories in here a battery pack charger i'm also going to take my airpods with me for that long flight so let's jump into the makeup First thing i have is this little stand-up mirror i bought this at Target. It's very inexpensive, very thin. It's simple to take with me. Again, it's battery operated. I wouldn't really cry over this if I had lost it or broke it just because it's literally just my traveling mirror, but I hope not to break it or lose it. Sunscreen. I know this is a frozen bottle, but it's just a sticker. It's a water resistant SPF 50 dermatologist approved for sensitive skin. That's me. I usually bring this when I'm going camping, but you never know. There may be mosquitoes. I'm not trying to get bitten, although I have that sweet blood. Mm -hmm. My Murad SPF 50 is a plus. I'm bringing travel size moisturizers. This is a smaller version of my Dr. Rubix. No worries. I don't think I'm going to be wearing a lot of makeup just more protection of the skin and very light because it's gonna be hot, tropical, and we're probably just gonna be hanging out on the beach most of the time. I'm taking my YSL All-in-One. This is a tinted moisturizer, which I do like, and it does have a small SPF of 23, but it's okay because I'm still using my SPF 50 in addition to this. If I needed extra concealing, I'm gonna bring my Tarte Shape Tape because it's a multifunctional product. When it gets hot, I'm gonna use my More Pacific Hydrating Mist. This is almost empty, but I do have another bottle. Protect your lips, SPF 25. This is my ultimate favorite grapefruit by Jack Black. Of course, I can't leave without having this additional SPF 50 spray with me. Lotion, my body gets dry out here. Um, probably it will be more hydrated out there, but I'm gonna take some of this for my hands and feet and toes and neck and body. Favorite highlighter, the Mary Luminizer. Bring my waterproof bronzer. No, I probably don't need another face product, but just in case, <laughs> I'm gonna take my Eborian CC Cream with SPF 25. A colored liner, just in case I need to pop a color because I'm not bringing any eyeshadow. And the last two I have is gonna be a black liner and my brow pencil. And that's basically it for the makeup. 
So everything will fit in here once it's packed nicely. So let's move on to my clothes. Can I tell you how happy I am? <laughs> so I thought I left this behind in New York. Let me backtrack. I was actually looking for my tripod thing. I thought it was in that white backpack I took with me in New York. And instead I found this and I was so happy. I had to retrace my steps and I finally figured out that my tripod was in my car when I took it to LA back in January. It's April. I'm so happy that I found my scrunchie taking some goggles. Of course, I can't forget my sunnies. Taking my one piece bathing suit that I love so much. I got this at Old Navy like years ago. If I'm feeling frisky, I'm gonna wear a two piece bathing suit, but it's actually gonna be a super high rise bottom here. I know it looks humongous. It kind of is a little bit big, but it's a high rise and yeah, I just got a lot to cover. So this is the top that comes with a black bottom. Sorry guys, this is hella bright. This is not a bathing suit, but it is a bandeau, but it's a really wide one, so it covers most of your tummy. I told you guys that I didn't like it because it didn't have like cups in case if it like shows through when it's wet. So what did I do? I sold in some cups. <laughs> so these are just little pads from an old bathing suit. It's super thin, but it's just going to help cover the nipply areas if it does show a little bit have another high-waisted bikini bottom that actually fits me better than the black one. The black one is a little bit loose, so I could probably wear this with, I don't know, something or maybe like a tank top if I wanted to. Some plain sports bras that I'm taking with me. I bought these at Uniqlo. They're really comfortable because we are going to be hiking. Got some white shorts. These are jeans that I had for so many years. They're my designer jeans that I end up cutting. Posted this picture on my personal IG account like a while ago about these old designer jeans that were ripped. I didn't know what to do with these jeans. They were super flared, bell bottoms. Some of them were ripped. Um, this one here, if you can see, it had a rip right here. Really no point of sewing this. So what I did was I ended up cutting these as shorts. I did cut a few more pairs, but I think I'm gonna take this one because this one's the most thin and softest material. Take some neon shorts. And these are my favorite, favorite scalloped jeans. Oh my gosh. These are my high-waisted jeans that I need to like iron because from washing them, they fold up. But they're basically a really cute scallop design trim right there. And this is by H&M. Really cute mustard yellow maxi dress that I'm going to take with me. I also have a pink one, which is really cute because it's pink and it has like stripes. And these are very easy to travel with. I can just fold it and it won't wrinkle really bad. So it's really easy to take with me. I'm gonna take a few more tank tops. This is one of my favorite ones. I think I got this at Zoomies or somewhere, but basically it's a gray little razorback tank top and the back is really sheer and thin. So it's very breathable. Can't forget my fanny pack. I brought some chicken cutlets with me. Look at these guys. I know if you guys seen these chicken cutlets before, they're super soft. So this is a little bit different than your average cutlet thingies, guys. I found this on Amazon. So basically this will be your boob area. You'll place it on your boob and then you can put the sticker part kind of like up here. So you can kind of pull it up to give you a little oomph. So I'm gonna try these with some of the tops and dresses that I don't need to wear a bra with and see how they feel. And PS, I've never wore these before. So I don't know how much support or how weird it's gonna feel on your skin. I got this cute one shoulder romper and it's a shorts. And I got this at Gap a while back and I've never worn it yet. So I guess this is the time to. So I got this cute little kimono kind of thingy cover up that I got from forever like back in the day. So this will be a pretty cover up to wear when I'm going to the beach over my bathing suit. This thing I have is a cute little flower dress. It is a maxi dress so it's super long. What I like about this is that it actually has pockets and it's very, very thin. Like seriously, you could probably see through it under light, but it's going to be perfect because you won't be able to see too much because it's still dark, but it's going to be very breathable and easy to wear and walk around Hawaii. Remember I got this in Thailand. So I'm going to take this just to wear around. I got these little packing baggies on Amazon as well. I'm such an Amazon person and it actually has everything in here, like a bag to put your dirty stuff in or like shoes. You have a small little bag here that you can zip up. It's just easy to store. You have handles. So that way in your luggage space, you just have like the four or five pieces all in order so it's not going to be messy like a little toiletry bag 
few other sizes of these and it's so lightweight and easy to clean and I'm gonna take this with me because it's probably gonna be easier for me to pack and I also bought a set for my husband in black that is all the clothes I'm taking with me to Hawaii I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go through all these one more time for like the 10th time and probably take some things out at the same time I'm probably gonna put more in there I don't know. It's just, just in case. Yeah, I'm probably gonna remove some of the clothes because it's literally just a four day trip. Probably just gonna pack more beach clothes if anything because that is my goal. To hike and just be a beach bum the whole time, come back burnt dark like beef jerky because I literally am rocking my winter shade for the past four years. If you guys are interested on my little stories, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be working on a vlog as soon as I come back. I hope you guys enjoy this little video of what I take with me to Hawaii and when I travel. So I hope to come back super tan guys. Wish me luck <laughs> and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!